How's it going, everyone? This is Lighter Prime. I'm back, and today I'm doing another Batadon Mail results. Well, Batadon Mail. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, today's mail is from three different sources. One is from two are from Discord, and one from Mercari. So I'll start with the one from Mercari. The one from Mercari is. Armor Alliance Dreadnought Ultra with Batu Deer and cards. Now, the story is I had to trade my original Armor Alliance Dreadnought to Batu Brad in order to get the Webum, which was a price I was willing to pay. Until I found, but when I tried to get a cheap one off Mercury, the guy didn't. Res the guy hasn't even bad until seven days later, and even then he hasn't replied to any message I sent him until the last minute when I finally got it, and he said, "Can you rate me?" He yeah yeah, he didn't reply to any of my messages until I until he asked me to rate. Him on the product. I gave him a four star. But now I got another Dreadnought and another Battle Deer. That replaced me, and now I got four of these. <laughs> But I say it was worth it. Because now I got the whole collection for Dreadnoids. Again. Okay, the next one is from a trade I had to deal with. A user named Mythic J. Now, a rich, he was doing some, trading some Bazooka. I saw he had Nova Hydras. And I wanted to trade him. I had to trade my dart is Democrat and my dart is Cyndias for it, but it was worth it. He told me it doesn't he told me that it has trouble opening at times, but I don't mind. I love it. He probably won't see any future battles for a while, but I'll take my chances. I just now have another Nova Batodon from the from the awesome brawlers. Nova Hyd Hydras has a Helix, Green Fist, 600 B power, 3 damage. Lands on a Helix, gains 300 B power, so that's a total of 1500, but you lose your damage. And I love the artwork. I need to get Nova Trox. And this guy took a long time to trade because we were both so busy with stuff. I sent mine early, and it took another few weeks before I got Hydras. But I was willing to wait. I'm a patient guy, so there's no really that much. Okay. That's up. We're going for the Bazadon I purchased from El, from El Jefe for the third time. And probably there's going to be a fourth, and that will be the biggest one. I don't know. Maybe I plan on buying, like, <laughs> ten... Or so about to done from him. I'll see what I can. Here are the about to done I got from him. I got a Dartis Fighters. Poor. A Dartis Nilius Ultra from Armor Alliance. Now this one I've been wanting for a long time. Because now I now I completed my Nilius collection. Not counting diamonds or mythics. Or those special ones like the per like that purple Nilius. You know the one that everyone's really everyone really wants, but now I have, but now this completes my collection, and I can finally use my Nilius Diamond card. Yeah, I have an Aquas Armor Lions Ultra, but it's not the same. Oh, for that, uh, Magic Shield Helix for Fadras, three hundred B power, five damage. 
I think I have her diamond part too. I have to recheck. As for Nilius, 600 B power, 300 damage, normal shield, green fist. Lancer, normal shield, 200 B power, green fist, 2 damage. So, that means she'll have, I mean, Nilius will have a total of 1200 B power if it lands on a heal it, I mean, a uh, shield of Pirates and Darkness. And 150 B power, I mean, 7. 50 B power and 7 damage on the Green Fist. And now I have Nilius Auralis. Normal Shield Green Fist, like Ultra, 500 B power, 5 damage. Now, the reason I got Nilius Auralis is because back in the very beginning of Battle Dawn, I got myself the Mansonoid pack with Nilius. Uh. Darkest Mantanoid and who's the Pyrus? Uh, I forget. But I had to trade my trade it to a friend because he wanted an Orlis by to gone. But now I had a replacement after years later. Next is Haltor Edge from Pyrian. Heal its Green Fist, 500 B power, 6 damage, Juge. For energy cost and the fusion side is t eight damage and t I mean eight hundred power and ten damage. Also along we got Dardnoy as Webum, the one that comes with the one that comes with the battle clip. But I didn't get that part. I mean one of the battle done. Fire fist five hundred B power two damage. Fire lands of fire fist three hundred B power fusion. 5 energy toss. When infused, and oh my god, that's amazing artwork. Why are, why are all the bots doing like that? 900 B power, 8 damage. There's no fire fist. 600 B power. So that's a total of 1850 and 11 damage. And finally, we got Titan Dragonoid. Now, if you guys saw my very first Back to Mail episode, you saw, I said that I didn't get the Titan Dragonoid. Until I saw in a later post from El Jefe that he was training again, that he had it. Probably from a new stash. So, I went for it. Now I have the card, Back to Dawn, and the final form. The only problem is I don't have the maximum card. I'll probably try to find it on somewhere. Thought I had it, but I didn't. Normal shield, green fist, 700 B power, 3 damage. What's best is if I can use this, and I can use any other Dragonoid for, for its Titan form, like the Auralis one I have. Let's let's look at the battle gun. Yeah. Nil, yes, I love it. I love his ultra. Battle Planet Nilius. Love the design. How to Love it. Oh, what's another thing? This one's actually from the from the Battle Pack edition. You know, the one that comes with Two bots are done and two bots are yours in like epic mode, right? Yes, like here, this one has special design on the sides. I recall, I think I recall doing like if you guys been watching my videos, if you go to like the Batu, the bots, Batu bots opening, you'll see that I have that I did one with Nilius and Drago. And now I have the Haltor one. I don't have. Unfortunately, I don't have the Petitrix one. I think there's one there. I just have to find it. Here's Fabris. I love her design. This is what's. Her core form is so much better than Freaking Ultra. Not only because it's easier, but it actually looks like her. Her Ultra forming is like a. looks more like a bird than a, dra than a Chinese dragon. Dardanoid at Webum. 
The latest inch good is now I have four of them. I have this one, I have, no wait. My bad, I only have three. This one, the Chaos Pyrus one, and the Aquos Ventus from Legends. And f last but not least, Titan Dragonoid. I love it. Making the Titan Batudon its own car, its own Batudon, is just awesome. Now, to fully bring it out, I got the t I got the maximum armor right here. Now for the moment of truth. Come on. Well, that's not as epic as I was hoping for. It's supposed to open by itself. That basically ruined it. Eh, that must be dead. But yeah, now I have the card, the ultimate, in the final form, and the Bajadar itself. I just wish I had the maximum card. Maybe if El Jefe has El as soon as I can buy off him for extra. But yeah. That's it. This is the fourth Batu Mail episode. And I love it. We it, and like I said, if next month, which is a week from now, when I get enough money, I'm gonna make a giant purchase from El Jefe. And buy like a, a lot of battle drawn. That's gonna be my biggest battle mail. I got some impressive cards, battle drawn, and hope cannot wait to use some in the brawl. When I figure out team that is. Well. Thanks you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit notifications so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Lighter Prime signing out.